the science guy. Hello, I'm Mr. Burr, seven, seven likes science. So you stop it. Seven likes science. We're talking about physics. We're talking about physics and sound. Sound, and not that. I don't know. It's that. Yeah. That's, uh, not even the this good sound. sound. Sorry, sound. So many sound. Strangling a sound goose. Music. Nothing personal. Music. Okay. Okay. What time about here? Is we have open at one end, open at two ends. What I mean by simply stop it. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Can you stop that. I'm not as. Okay. All right. Open at one end. Okay. Or open at two ends. That's what the video is about today. I don't care about my black comedy. I mean, I like the actor, but that's, that's okay. All right. Open at one end. Basically, what it means is simply the sound's coming out of one end. Okay. Here's the equation. Let's go on. Okay. Now, consider the following. Okay. What we're going to have next. We're have uh, a real music teacher, not this real person who knows music. No, honest. No, I don't want to hear anymore. Don't, no, stop it. Uh, talk about voice, okay? And then we also have a real music teacher on orchestra. Hurry up. Take a moment. No, stop it. Consider the following. Hi, this is Miss Tate. I'm one of the choir directors here at Seven Lakes. Now that you know a bit more about sound waves, let's take a look what it looks like in real life. Anytime you hear a single musical note, you may think that's only one frequency. However, there's a bunch of frequencies above each of the sounds that we can hear consciously. For example, take a listen to this recording of a singer. Let's go over what we just saw there. All the thin blue line you see on the right, that represents the sound that we can hear. Now, all of those squiggles above, those are called the harmonic frequencies. These harmonic frequencies are very, very high pitched. Something we can't hear with the human ear consciously. You can see that each of these waves, some are stronger than others, depending on one note he's singing. The relative strength of these frequencies determines the sound of the voice. Now, that explains how can you tell the difference between two different singers that you like. The reason is because of the relative strength of their harmonic frequencies. Give me, give me, give me, give me the saxophone. Get it. Give me, give me the saxophone. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. All right, we talked about open at one end, okay? Open at one end like a saxophone, like a voice, okay? That's wonderful here. Not from, okay. The saxophone, great instruments, open at one end, like woodwind instruments and, and singing form. But what happens if we talk about open at two ends? Open at two ends essentially means I have a standing wave, it's called a standing wave, with a guitar or a piano. No, where are the, Where do you get that? Something like that. Do you know? Said, saying to me, no, don't, don't. Good gosh, man, keep, keep. Go ahead. <laughs> one lesson. No! I'm gonna, you done? Well, okay, that's a no. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 I'll take it away. Mr. Kirk gave it, okay? I'll turn the screw around. It's okay, okay? okay. All right, well, let's talk about this a little more. Consider the following. Mind. Uh, so this is the cello. Uh, it's a member of the string family. Uh, it's on the larger side. Um, Physics-wise, the larger the instruments and the thicker the string, the lower the sound. Uh, the lowest sounds in the orchestra are the bass, which is about twice the size. But basically how it works is um, this is a bow, and uh, it's made of horsehair. You put rosin on it, which is sticky, and then you draw it across the string. And when you do, the string vibrates, it vibrates the bridge, which vibrates the front of the instrument, uh, and then there's a sound post that you can't see, which connects the front to the back, and the whole thing reverberates. Uh, the string is also, can be split up into uh, different nodes that are equally spaced. Uh, they create harmonics. And that's how a cello works. Physics and music are in perfect harmony. Keep the fun in physics, the fun in music. Just keep having fun learning. Remember, there are no limits to your learning. Keep it classy, Seven Legs. <laughs>